how to generate the permanent access token for our WhatsApp Cloud API. So while testing the APIs we have seen, first we generated the temporary access token from the developers.facebook.com slash apps and we entered that token here. But this token valid only for a certain time. Sometime it is 24 hours, 23 hours. But when I was trying, even after three hours, token was not working. So for testing, this is fine. So every time we can generate a new temporary token and we can do the testing. But in the production scenario, either we have to go with a permanent access token, which never expired, or there's also option to generate token, which is valid for the 60 days. So either we can go with the permanent or with the 60 days. So for that, like once you log into developers.facebook.com, earlier inside the API setup, we use the temporary access token. Now to generate the permanent access token, you have to right click this business info. We can also go through business.facebook.com. So better right click this and open in a new tab. So in a new tab, our business information will be open. And here in settings, under users, there is system users. So currently there is no user. So click on this plus icon. Give, okay, just accept the terms and condition. You can read first time. So here we have to give the user ID. You can give any name. Okay, then select the role. I'm selecting here admin role and create the system user. So first we have to create here the system user. Then here under this user ID, click on assign, assign asset. So currently we can see no assets are assigned here. So we can, we can click here, assign asset. From here, select app. We need to select our app. And on the right hand side, assign permission, full control. You can also manage the control. Like if you have multiple user, so development app, you insights and test app, you can give the individual access as well. But here for this user, I'm giving the full control. And you have to click on assign assets. Once the assets are assigned, here we can see one asset was assigned. Then click on generate token. You can also click here like revoke tokens. Once we generated, we can also remove that. So click on generate token. Here, select the app. Click on next. Set expiration. So we have two options here, either you can set 60 days, which is recommended. But the problem here, like every 60 days, we have to generate a new token and save in your ERP or the CRM system from where you're going to integrate the API. So in live system, either we can go with the recommendation and generate a new token every after 60 days or select the never expire. So I will go with the first option, 60 days. I will click on next. Then the assign permissions. Here, we have to select, we have to select two permissions. Three we can add now, like WhatsApp business manage events, WhatsApp business management, and WhatsApp business messaging. So all three we can select here. Okay, and then click on generate token. So almost finished to help keep this account secure, we need to verify your account. So click on verify account. Nowadays, many security things system has assigned here. So once we click on verify our account, we'll get a verification code on our email address. And we have to validate that verification code and then click on done. Now we can see token is created. Your token has, has been created and can be used now. So now we can copy this token and in the postman, 
instead of temporary token now we can use this is newly generated token okay let me copy this again and try one message template message only i will uh, i will send using this so in the body i am a number in the authorization instead of this token now let me add the new token which is generated click on save and i will click on send button now you can see it is success okay and we can see a new message here hello world message okay so like this we can generate the permanent access token and we can use in our api as i explained here one option is there to revoke the tokens suppose for temporary we generated and we want to revoke that also we can do okay so based on your requirement either we want to go with the 60 days or like never expire it is individual choice in this way we learn how to generate a permanent access token for the whatsapp cloud api thank you